Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and we are going to do a little Dollar Tree DIY. I'm using the wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. We've got a mermaid, we've got a little turtle, and we've got a dolphin. I'm going to do the turtle to start with. I have picked out some bluish green colors, a neon green color, and then a little bronze. I also primed it with the white, and I am using the Arteza uh, acrylic pouring colors, so it's already all done for you. I also have this cute little bottle that one of you beauties gave me, and I love it because I think I'm going to be able to see right through it. And I really think I like this sea green, so that's what I'm going to start with. I'm just going to put some sea green in there. I'm not worried about how much goes in there because if it's too much, that's okay. But I'm going to put a little bit of the neon green, not a whole lot. We're going to go with some phthalo green here, which has some blue in it. And since we've got that dark... I'm going to put some bronze in here as well. And then we're going to go with this forest green, which looks really blue. And I already know that that's more than enough, but I still want to go back over with a little bit of the sea green because I can use this more than one time. If we have extra, I just pull out another one because I think these would go really well on a mermaid's tail as well. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the bronze, a teeny bit of the green, like really teeny bit. And then we'll go again with the phthalo green. Okay. So now we've got that all in there and we can start pouring. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out one of my mermaids as well. Just so I can go ahead and pour her tail if I want to do that. And I will quickly, you just put that primer on there. Well, I'm using just the white as a primer. And then we're just going to brush that around so that it gets that paint flowing really well. And then the same with the turtle. We have already got it done, but I'm just going to redo him. Okay, so we've got that there. And now I'm going to take this guy and we're just going to start pouring it out and we're going to do some little uh, just what is called a tree ring where we're just going to go in little teeny tiny circles putting enough on here and then I'm going to do the same thing here just on her tail I think And look at that, look how pretty that came out. In fact, I'm just gonna leave that. All right, so you can wear ma um, rubber gloves if you'd like, but you just wanna grab these guys and move it around and get that all going. You wanna not lose too much paint while you're working on these. My goodness, this is so pretty. I'm trying not to lose the paint here. And we don't want to drip this. I know you're having a hard time seeing it, but we're just moving it around. Look how pretty that's coming out. 
And you can find these guys on my Etsy shop as well. So we've got that. I'm going to put this guy. I'm going to move that around as well. I'm going to move that over so that it completely pours off of the side here. And we're going to move that around. If you are looking for a hobby where you don't get dirty, this isn't it. <laughs> I'm just going to move that. When you touch your finger there, it's going to bring that color around as well. Look at that. So nice. And there we go. I'm going to take this guy. We're going to bring that back. We're going to add some more color here. And now that green, that neon is starting to come out. So it's going to be really pretty. And we're going to give his head a little bit of neon green as well. Look at that. Isn't that coming out nice? So pretty. Any of the places that you might not want, uh, there we go. Like if it's white and you just don't want it white, just grab your finger and pull that down. And there we go. I love it. And then we'll go in with some other colors here for the mermaid. So we can take this guy we're going to set him over here to dry. And then I'm going to pull out another one just to use the rest of that ink there. I'm going to pull out another turtle. And I'm not even going to prime this one. We'll make, we're going to make this one facing that way. Okay. can get all of that out there all right look how pretty that is all right we're gonna move this around get it down here making sure not to drip any over there But how cool is this? And look at the two differences. It's such a difference in the way this one came out as opposed to the one we first started with. Totally, completely different from the top to the bottom. I'm trying to get that over to where the head is. There we go. And if you need any ink you can or paint, you can put, pull it from the top. So we're just going to move that around. I'm still trying to get that over. I want to get those sides as well. I like to have my sides colored. There 
we go. And look at that. See the difference in the two? So crazy. See those two difference? Alrighty, I'm gonna color this guy in, but I love that tail. If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more DIY crafts. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!